Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by ultrasound. You should then be able to describe how ultrasound is used for medical and industrial imaging. And finally, you should be able to calculate distances from ultrasound results. And all of this is for triple physics students only. In the last video we saw that a normal human ear can detect sound with a frequency between 20 Hz and 20,000 Hz. Now ultrasound is sound waves with a frequency higher than the upper limit of human hearing. So the frequency of ultrasound is at least 20,000 Hz. One key feature of ultrasound is that ultrasound waves partially reflect at the boundary between two different densities. I'm showing you here ultrasound pulses reflecting off a kidney. If we know the time it takes for the ultrasound pulse to leave the probe, bounce off the kidney, and then be detected by the probe, we can calculate the distance between the probe and the kidney. Ultrasound scanners can produce images of internal organs, such as a kidney and the heart. This works for any organ that's not surrounded by bone. We can also use ultrasound to produce images of a fetus, such as this one. Now ultrasound is much safer than x-rays and that's because ultrasound does not cause mutations and it does not increase the risk of cancer. Ultrasound is also used in industrial imaging. This shows a worker using ultrasound to scan a pipe. Ultrasound can be used to detect hidden defects or problems with a weld. Let's look now at how we can use ultrasound to determine distance. We use the equation distance in meters equals speed in meters per second multiplied by time in seconds. So here's a typical question. A ship is using ultrasound to measure the distance to the seabed. An ultrasound pulse is emitted. It takes 1.2 seconds for the reflected pulse to return to the ship. Calculate the depth of the seabed. The speed of ultrasound in water is 1600 meters per second. So we use the equation distance equals speed multiplied by time. The speed of ultrasound in water is 1,600 meters per second, and the time is 1.2 seconds. This gives us a total distance traveled by the ultrasound of 1,920 meters. However, that's the total distance that the ultrasound traveled from the ship to the seabed, and then from the seabed back to the ship. So to work out the depth of the seabed, we've got to divide our total distance by two. This gives us a depth of 960 meters. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on the uses of ultrasound in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above.